Hi there, Chris Kellett here with 123 Muse, and I want to show you the new GIF player widget. Now, I'm personally really excited about this widget because I was really pleased with the way it turned out. So let's take a look at it straight away. So I'm in a Muse page here. I've just added a dark background um, just for dramatic appeal. And I'm just gonna search for GIF here in our library of widgets. And I have my um, GIF player 2 on, on in view here. I've also put a sample GIF in the package, so let's just drag that on to the page. So this is just an image, this is just a GIF. If we preview this in the browser, we can see that there we have the GIF uh, running there. And because it's an image, it makes we can make use of the built-in scaling abilities of Muse. So if I, because it's an image, I can set it to responsive width and height. I've pinned it in the center there. And then if we preview again that in the browser, then as I scale down, the image gets smaller and scaling up. Okay, so that's a GIF working fine. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to give you the ability to um, click to play GIFs and to um, hover to play GIFs uh, and also to have GIFs um, on the page, multiple GIFs on the page and still all be responsive. So that was the challenge and this is how it's come together. So. If we want to have a GIF to just automatically play as soon as the page, plays, page loads, all we have to do is place the animated GIF on the page. That's job done. If we place the GIF player widget to this uh, new widget on the page here, we can see that we've got very simple options. We've got a class name. We've got the how do we want to activate the image via hovering or click. And then we have um, playback durations between 1000 milliseconds and 5000 milliseconds, and then an infinite playback that'll just keep looping all the time. So let's just leave all those settings the way they are for the time being. So the class name, we would want to apply to the GIF. So in my graphic styles here, I can see that um, I've got a style, a graphic style named GIF. So I'm gonna select the GIF and I can see that because I had already applied this style when I saved it out to the library, it's already applied. So we have that style there. So that relates to this here, class name, GIF, those two match up. Now, if we hit preview now, we'll see that the widget loads and it pauses. Now, when we hover over it, the GIF plays. When we move the mouse off, the GIF stops. And that even works when it's responsive as well. So this is now fully responsive and will play on hover. Let's put the play on click. And let's set it to just 1000 milliseconds. So now when I preview this, scale up a bit, we can see that it loads up with the, um, it creates basically a, a screen grab of the, the first frame of the GIF. So um, when you load it up on a large screen, it'll create that. And obviously if it's a small screen and then resize, then it's going to, um, we're going to see that it, it pixelates a bit, but um, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, so we have the GIF on the page and now if we click it, click, it plays. And notice it only played for a thousand milliseconds. So that that would be for a short GIF, so you could, you could limit the duration that it plays for. So it just plays and then stops. Okay, so now let's put multiple GIFs on the page. So I'm gonna switch this over to infinite and I'm gonna switch it to hover. And then I'm going to go and place a ton of GIFs. So I've got these four cinema graphs here. Cinema graphs being images, video, um, video clips where just part of the image moves. So let's just place these on the page here. So let's put one there, let's put one here, one here, and another one here. I'm just going to tidy those up a bit. Get some spacing going on here, using the power of smart guides. So, yep, that's fine there. And we'll just move these over a bit. Uh, there we go. I won't be too fussy about it. There we go. Now let's uh, move these into the center of the page here. There we go. And now if we select all of them, and select the graphic style. Now we've applied the GIF style to all of them. So let's preview this. 
and we can see that we have all of our GIFs loaded but none of them are playing. When we move over each one we can see that the animation plays and stops as soon as we move off and they're fully responsive. So now we have fully responsive animated GIFs that play on hover. So you don't need to do anything apart from apply the graphic style that matches the graphic style of the class in the widget, place the widget on the page, and there you go. So as I as I said before, very excited about this um, widget because I think it's a really powerful widget for, because more and more uh, animated GIFs are being used and this gives you that like transparent, um, tra there's no button, There's it's just the GIFs on the page and you can make it work with hover or click and I, and I think that's a really, really amazing and the fact that we can just use standard images with all the built-in muse things like pinning and um, resizing of, of height and width makes it a very powerful widget now with regards to let's just delete these and just take a look at um, what i was talking about earlier about the static image that's created so if we preview this we can see that because I've loaded up on a small screen, so my browser is already set to this small width. As I scale up, you see that the image gets pixelated, okay? Now, if I did the same, so if I'm gonna make this full size and then I preview it. So now the widget is taking a screen grab, um, a, an image grab, of the the image with it when it's larger, so now it's of higher quality. Okay, so the reason why I'm telling you that is, um, if you preview anything, oh, it's pixelated. Um, it doesn't mean that it's going to be pixelated on every device. It just means that you've previewed it, um, starting with a small browser width. However, if you start with a large browser width, you'll get a much higher quality image. And that's something that's done automatically. So um, we don't have any external control of that. So that is the new GIF Player 2 widget. Um, I, I really hope that uh, you um, find it useful. And I've certainly enjoyed building it. And thanks for watching.